Okay, today we're talking about organology in Music 102, and that uh, term means the study and classification of musical instruments. You might ask yourself, why do we even bother to classify instruments? What's the importance in studying music? Well, there are several things. First thing is that we can see similarities and differences between different cultures' use of musical instruments. And that can give us some clues as far as the cultural values in each of those different cultures. Number two, we can better understand the aesthetic systems of various cultures by the choices their musical performers make. Gives us another little window into their culture or, or more snapshots of their culture as we've discussed before. Number three, we can better understand how their musical instruments reflect the availability of construction materials, be it metal, wood, bamboo, seashells, animal or fish skin, things like that. Or the materials are very important to considering how a musical culture developed. For example, you, we might ask why were there no metal instruments in Polynesia before European contact? And the answer would be, there was no metal ore in the islands. That science of metallurgy, using metal to make tools and make materials, was unknown in Polynesia and the Pacific Islands b before the Europeans came and brought nails, brought other metal objects. And, and then, of course, the Polynesians became very, very interested in these materials. Another example is, why were there no bamboo flutes among the indigenous people of the Northeast United States? The answer there would be because bamboo did not grow in that region. So they used other kinds of wood from trees, other materials, but not bamboo. You might also think uh, of the indigenous people of Alaska, way up north, and why did they not have bamboo flutes? They carved flutes out of bone and other materials, simply because that bamboo was not available to them as a material. When we consider organology as a, a way to help us to understand more about music cultures, I want to present to you these two very important scholars, Kurt Sox from Germany and Eric von Hernbussel from Austria, who devised an instrumental classification system in 1914. In our class, we use the Sox Hornbussel system to identify instruments from our representative cultures that we are studying. So from now on, throughout all the uh, rest of the presentations in the class, when you see the abbreviation S-H, you'll understand that we're referring to the Sox Hornbussel system of instrument classification. Now, there are many people in the world that are familiar with an older system of classifying musical instruments. See if you know these different categories. We call them families of instruments in the uh, United States and maybe where you are too. The string family includes such familiar instruments as violin, cello, guitar, harp, koto from Japan, banjo, ukulele from Hawaii, etc. Our pictures here include a Chinese pipa, P-I-P-A, and of course a guitar. And we'll study more about Chinese instruments later on in the course. Another familiar family of instruments is the woodwind family. And that includes such things as flute, oboe, saxophone, shinai from India, shakuhachi from Japan, and other instruments. Right here you see pictures of a saxophone player and a Korean flute player. Next we have brass instruments, another family. And we have uh, trumpet, French horn, trombone, tuba, other familiar instruments from orchestras and bands. Now this picture that we see on the left shows us one of the problems with using this classification system. You see a drummer in the foreground, looks like a jazz group, right? And then you see uh, people standing up in the background and they're playing saxophones. Well those saxophones are made out of brass. So why did we call them woodwinds? Well in the old system they used to call them that because they had a reed that vibrated rather than just the lips in the instrument. But, but that's one of the problems and that's why the SNH system clears up some of those problems. Okay, the last family in the old system of classification is called percussion. And that would include drums, cymbals, log drums, timpani or kettle drums, etc. In our photos here, we see an ensemble of Japanese drums. And then we see a very familiar 
drum set that's used for rock, it's used for reggae, it's used for jazz, many, many popular genres today. Under the S&H system, we arrange these older categories into some new categories. The first one, chordophones. Number two, aerophones. Three, membranophones. Four, idiophones. And five, a relatively newer, more modern category, electronophones. We're going to look at each of those categories and see some YouTube examples of some of those instruments.